Hey everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Star Wars Library, where we're going to go through the entire Star Wars Expanded Universe in print. I'm Spencer, I'm going to lead you through this, and this is episode zero of this new series that I want to start here on this channel. Now, the reason I want to do this is to really kind of explain what this series is going to be about, why am I doing it this way, what is this all going to entail, and what you can expect from this series going forward. There's several other things in this video I kind of want to talk about real quick, but essentially I want to just give us an introduction here of what we're going to do. First off, <clears throat> going through the expanding universe in publication order. Now, the reason I want to do this is for a couple reasons. Number one, there are tons of people that I know of who are reviewing the expanding universe in their own way. For example, one of my buddies, Matt Wilkins, is reviewing the uh, EU in chronological order as best he knows how. And uh, another buddy of mine, Chris Nelson, he's kind of going through his collection, looking at some, some rarities, some odds and ends, stuff that you might not usually see as much as, say, like the Thrawn trilogy, for example. And that's a really cool thing as well. Personally, I really like that, and I think it's cool. <clears throat> then you have people like uh, Jeremy over at Stupid Chainsaw Productions. What he's doing is basically saying... I'm going to review what I'm reading or what I just finished or what I'm feeling right now, which I think is cool as well. But there really isn't anybody doing it in publication order. Now, there was at the time, there was actually a guy named Nathan Butler, who's still making videos here on YouTube that I'm actually a pretty big fan of. But unfortunately, when Lucasfilm decided to reboot the Star Wars timeline, that's when he decided that he was going to stop doing that series because, hey, it's no longer official canon anymore, so I just don't care um, to do it anymore, at least. And that really broke my heart. I was like, man, I love, that's my favorite thing that you do. Um, I still watch them, folks, so I, I don't want you to get the wrong idea that, uh, oh, I never watch them again. But that was my favorite thing. And I thought it would be kind of cool not to pick up where he left off, but to do my own thing. And to really go through and look at the expanding universe as it evolved over time so when the first publication came out to where we are today because this year we did get more legends which is awesome so that's what i really want to do here and the main thing that we're going to be focusing on in this series is printed star wars media <clears throat> and what i mean by that is we're going to be looking at novels comic books role-playing games guides all that kind of stuff that you would open up and you would read so stuff like the TV shows and the video games, unfortunately, will not be covered in this series. Not saying I won't talk about them, but <clears throat> they're not going to be talked about here. Now, again, like I said, I'm sorry if that's uh, something you're really into, uh, but there are a lot of good reviews of Star Wars video games on the internet, and I would highly encourage you to go check those out. So what I kind of want to do here now is kind of explain who I am, my history with the EU, why I'm talking about it, and of course, kind of going through the hierarchy of canon, just so we can kind of understand a little bit better what we're looking at here. So obviously, where does my story with Star Wars start? Well, I was born in the early 90s, so by the late 90s, by 1998, I was obsessed with the original trilogy. Prequels are still then starting to roll out, so I go to the theater, and uh, see those films and love them. I think that they're great. However, I wanted to know more about the Star Wars universe. You know, just watching movies wasn't enough for me. I wanted to know more. So, eventually I found the Young Jedi Knight series books and started reading Star Wars Expanded Universe Fiction and really got into it and really started to enjoy it. And ultimately, I became more of a fan of the Expanded Universe than I did of the Star Wars movies. That might be a bit sacrilegious to say, but what are you going to do? So that's what I did. I just, what I, you know, did that and really followed the Star Wars timeline from there. I guess you could say my internet claim to fame, if you will, is uh, I'm actually a contributor or writer for the uh, website, theexpandinguniverse.com. It's a website that I do with uh, Chris Nelson, Matt Wilkins, and a whole bunch of other people in the uh, EU community. <clears throat> and essentially... Uh, we all do different things. Um, so, for example, there's, you know, uh, Dylan, who um, has shown up on the Star Wars Legends podcast. Uh, he'll do some stuff about ships and explaining armies and stuff like that. Um, 
I typically will go and do um, articles on characters. That's kind of my favorite thing. So I'll look and um, I'll do bios about characters. I'll analyze characters. And of course, sometimes we'll take a character versus another character and based on in-universe facts, see, in my opinion, who would probably come out on top if they ever did fight each other. Again, that's opinion-based, but kind of a different variety there. So I do also have ex experience in presenting things to people. The other thing too that I really want to talk about here is really looking at um, the hierarchy of the expanded universe canon. Essentially, really going through and um, explaining what the hierarchy was. Because I think going into this uh, chronology, I think it's kind of in important to understand what it was and why it was in place back in the day. So, again, this is just, you know, what it was in the Legends continuity. So, back before Disney bought the franchise, the first hierarchy was G-Canon. And what G-Canon was, was George Lucas Canon, which is essentially anything you would see and hear in the Star Wars films. It, that was it. Was episodes one through six. That was it. I think it should have been called Movie Canon, but George Cannon, fine, whatever. We'll call it George Cannon. Anyways, so after G Cannon, underneath that, what was what was called C Cannon. That stood for Continuity Cannon, which basically meant that that included everything else. The novels, the comic books, the young adult novels, the uh, short stories, basically everything. And it would fit in perfect continuity, hence the C, with G Cannon. Then underneath that, you had secondary canon, and that was mostly the video games. And the reason that it was was because, let's say, for example, you're playing a level as Luke Skywalker, and then you die. Well, obviously, Luke Skywalker did, you know, didn't die on Tatooine, right? So that would be considered secondary canon. The event of the video game did take place, but probably not the way you played it. Another example could be uh, in the video game Jedi Academy. You can make Jaden Core a male, a female, and then do different species. It doesn't have to be human. But again, what you know? Who was it that really did it? Doesn't really matter. The actual event took place, but maybe not the way that you played it. Also, this would come into play, say, if you chose the uncanon dark side ending for a game like in The Force Unleashed, or versus the light side ending. The light side ending was typically the canon ending. But anyways, that was secondary canon. Then, underneath that was end canon, which was non-canon material. Which was stuff that you would find in, like, Star Wars Tales or something like that. And this would be stories like Skippy the Jedi droid. Um, you know, silly stories uh, in here that were kind of cartoony. Um in that and then of course there also was the infinities which was like the what if stories for the original trilogy and like the star wars which was like the uh comic book adaptation of george lucas's first draft of the original star wars movie so that was essentially the hierarchy now a little bit later what happened was when dave filoni got on the scene he was proclaiming to be a huge expanded universe fan uh and then it, i think it was star wars celebration a fan pointed out a simple, I mean, very simple mistake that, that Filoni made when he was bragging about, you know, how much he knew the Expanded Universe. And then suddenly after that, Dave Filoni was suddenly like, oh no, I'm not too positive about the Expanded Universe. So Lucasfilm gave Dave Filoni his own tier, which was T-Canon, which was television canon, which made absolutely no sense. And the reason for that was quite simply because the only thing that was given television canon status was Filoni's Clone Wars. It did not include the original Jendi Tartoski Clone Wars, the Holiday Special, the Droids and Ewoks cartoons, the made-for-TV Ewoks movies. Those were all given C canon status, except for Filoni's Clone Wars. But what are you going to do? You know, I mean, it... Lucasfilm was making sure that it would also fit in C canon as well. So that's the hierarchy of canon that we're going on here. That won't really come into play until later on when we get into about the 90s and early 2000s in our chronology here. But 
I just wanted to share that to kind of give us all a little bit of perspective on what we're looking at here just so you understand where we're coming from and why I'm really only looking at the material that was considered C canon. We're not going to be reviewing the films and also, like I said, we're not going to be doing the video games. When it comes to this, we're going to be doing novels, of course. I also want to do comic books, but <clears throat> depending on how long the series is, <clears throat> pardon me, we might have to break it up. So I'm going to do as many as I can um, so it's not too long, but not too short either, because these comic stories are very, very short. So, uh, and then of course, if there's a novelization of the video game, that'll probably be when we talk about a little about the video games. But other than that, this is going to be looking at the printed material that was in the original Star Wars continuity. So, thank you. I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy this series. I know I'm excited to do it, and... Um, we will be back with the first episode, which will be looking at the very first Star Wars novel ever printed. See you then.